Okay, so heater no go. This is should be a millivolt thermostat. This is a millivolt system. It requires the thermal pile pilot generator. This thing here. It's not a thermocouple. It's different. And so this thermal pile. It's seven, uh, 750 millivolts, so it should be putting out 750 millivolts when I put the meter on these two uh, connectors. You can see these two connectors here. I disconnected it temporarily. I was going to replace it, but what I thought is maybe I can try and clean it up because this old one is kind of dirty. Uh, possibly adjust the pilot so it's getting a little more heat. Make sure that's all clean up there. Uh, you know, but probably going to have to replace it with a new one but okay so uh, we have the pilot light lit so the pilot light is lit you can see it's lit it cleaned up that thermal cup a little bit the pilot light seems to engulf at least two, thir two thirds of that uh, pilot generator it's connected in there now this is the thermostat wire it goes up here uh, to whatever the high limit whatever overheat and that will go sometimes but it's good I checked it with a meter and so what we're going to do is we're going to check the output of this thermal couple now now that we've cleaned it and we're going to check it right here at the meter um, so let's see we go across the red and the white that leads to the thermal couple And it's only 590, 598 millivolts, so that's not going to be enough. It's got to be seven. It's got to be at least seven, 700. That could be enough to keep that pilot lit. And 700 or whatever, 500 millivolts could be enough to keep that pilot. Basically, there's two section, two sections in this valve. This is going to be the main section over here. Um, and. So yeah, the main section, it actually this goes up to that thermostat and comes down over here um, for the thermostat, uh, for the wall thermostat. And so yeah, that, thermos, that thermal pile is not putting out enough, so we have to replace it. Oh okay, yeah, got the old one out. Still pretty uh, tarnished, even though I cleaned it up with steel wool. And... We got it hooked up here correctly. And we're going to turn this on the pilot. And we're going to push this in somewhere right around there. And we're going to heat it up. See what it does. Turns on that part. Gotta let it wait at least a minute. We can hear the uh, gas going into the pilot jet. You can normally hear the, the gas coming out of the pilot jet. And we're gonna test the voltage here at the uh, at the valve. Okay, so it's not it's not staying lit at this point. So I gotta recheck my connections. Okay, so back out of here. Uh, this is the pilot slit. I got some stuff to put a new thermostat in. This is the 750 millivolt. So you make sure you get the 750 millivolt con controller. And if you hook your wires in and you set it, you do this, you should have fire up there. But we don't. That's all right. Okay, so this thermostat up here is a resettable thermostat, and it was glitchy. Basically, it was showing some continuity, not full continuity. It was showing continuity down here where I checked the wires, and when I pulled it out, I noticed it's got a little button on the bottom of it. Just push that button, and then it brings it back to full continuity, and this one's fixed, man.